So with Black Friday and Cyber Monday, lots of people are looking to build computers. So I thought I would do a video build guide like I did last year. We're gonna do a couple different budgets. We're gonna do under 700, under 1500, and under 2000. I'm also gonna talk about some alternatives and upgrades that you can do with each of those in order to improve that current build. It just may go above the budget that we had listed. So as you can see here, I do have them all listed on my website. I will leave a link down in the description below for this. I spent the day today and yesterday putting this thing together. Prices have changed a little bit. Some availability has changed as well. Um, we'll talk about those when we go through it. But also keep in mind that most of the links here are affiliate links. If you do use them, I really do appreciate it. You're not obligated to use them though. So let's go ahead and start off with our budget build under $700. Um, this is going to be focused around the 5600X, which is a very good CPU. See, it's even actually gotten cheaper since I added it to the list. So it's down to $135 instead of $140. And with our CPU cooler, we're going to be using the Thermalrite Phantom Spirit 120 SE. This is the upgraded version of their Peerless Assassin. It has one extra heat pipe, performs a little bit better. Still a very good price for one. This is basically going to be across the board because... This CPU cooler is able to do over 200 watts if it needs to. Um, I will have some other ones listed. I do have another guide specifically on coolers. We'll talk about that in a second. But that's our CPU cooler for this build. Our motherboard for this build is the Gigabyte B550M. Very good motherboard right now. Currently $90 on sale, which is a pretty good price. There are a lot of options here at this price point. You can go for a couple of others. I did list one in the alternative section here. Um, but this is one that I thought was very good for its price point. Now, in terms of RAM, I recommend 16 gigs be the minimum if you're building a computer in 2023. So we're using the Team Group T-Force Vulcan Z 16 gig kit, not bad, 3600 megahertz, which is the minimum that I would suggest with the 5000 series Ryzen. And it's a very good kit for 35 bucks. Now, in terms of storage, the MP34 is going to be one of those other ones across the board where at its current price point, it is a fantastic deal. Getting one terabyte for $47 is great. You can bring that up to two terabytes for $89 and four terabytes for $152. So this is your all amazing and fantastic prices. Now for the center of our build, it is the 6650 XT from PowerColor. It's the Hellhound model. They do very, very well. Um, it's a great GPU under $50 and it can do a pretty good job and keep us under this total $700 price point. Now in terms of case, this is another one where I'm gonna use the same one almost across the board. Um, but you can change them out. And again, I do have a guide specifically on cases if you do want to check it out. The reason I'm using this one across the board, though, is with Newegg right now, the P400A, which is a fantastic case, you're able to get it all the way down to $50 if you use the mail-in rebate and the additional 20% off using the code that I have here. It's a very, very good price getting this for $55.00. You really can't beat it in terms of a case. And if you're trying to get something as cheap as possible, which is what this $700 build is, um, without cutting corners and making things bad, this is the best option. And in terms of the power supply, we're able to get a 750 watt bronze rated semi-modular power supply for $75 right now on sale. It's a very good deal and it's really helping us keep under the $700. Now, as I mentioned, I've also put alternatives and upgrades listed under here with this really strict $700 build. There's not really many alternatives that you can go for. You can go down to the 5600, which is not too big of a deal. Um, the 5600 does a fantastic job and it's very comparable to 5600X. The 5600X just has some pretty good deals on right now, so it's a very good price. In terms of the coolers, you can go with Thermoite's other solutions right now and they're all around the $35 to $38 mark. So those are all really good options here. So I have them all listed. There was only one other board that I had here um, that was around the same price, around $90. So keep that in mind. And then again, like I mentioned with the cases, I have a whole list of cases and I have a budget tier, that, which is what you're gonna wanna look at. With the cases though, there are none that are on as deep of a sale as the P400A, so do keep that one in mind. And then in terms of upgrades, there's a lot of options here. You can go for the 5800X3D, which is still probably one of the best value gaming CPUs that you can get, um, especially if you're going with the older generation. You can upgrade to the 5900X or the 5950X. If you were doing that though, I would highly suggest going with a slightly better motherboard as well that has some you know, stronger um, VRMs which is why I do list an X570 board. A lot of the B550 boards, I didn't notice 
any good ones that were cheaper than the X570 versions. So that's why I have an X570 here. But once the sales are over, a B550 board that's a little bit more premium may be a better option. In terms of coolers, you have a lot more options here. Um, the Deep Cool Assassin 4 is an incredible air cooler if you want a very large air cooler, as are the NHD 15 and the Dark Rock Pro 4. In terms of liquid coolers, I prefer the liquid freezer line, so I have a bunch of those listed here as well. Other upgrades you can do, you can upgrade the RAM to 32 gigs if you wanted, you can upgrade the storage like I mentioned earlier, and you can swap out the GPU for something a little bit stronger like the 6700 and the 6700 XT. You could do these and still keep it relatively inexpensive and probably under $1,000. You can go for something even larger, but you'll definitely be going over a thousand bucks at that point. Again, cases, I have that whole list. And if you want to upgrade to the power supply, um, you'd be able to get the 850, which I believe right now is $100. For a second build, it's gonna be sub $1,500 and it's gonna be focused around Intel's 12th gen series CPUs because they're a very good value still. The 12700KF can be bought for $200, which is a fantastic price. The 12700K was also uh, available for $211. If that comes back in stock, I would highly suggest it. But when I was checking, it was still sold out and it's still sold out now. So just keep that in mind. The difference between the KF and the K is that the KF does not have the integrated graphics built into it anymore. So it makes it a little bit cheaper, but it does make it a little bit more difficult to troubleshoot with, and then you lose access to quick sync. So keep that in mind. Again, with the CPU cooler, we're gonna stick with the Phantom Spirit. And as I mentioned, we're gonna keep this one all the way through. It can handle the CPU with no issue. In terms of motherboard, the MSI Pro Z790S right now is $158.99, so basically $160. This is a very good deal and a very good option for the 12700KF at this price point especially. Now within this budget, we can go up to 32 gigs, which will future-proof you a little bit, and you can do a very good job getting the DDR5 6000 uh, Mega Transfers Kit. This one from G-Skill is a very good option, and it's $94. Now with a larger budget, we're gonna go with the two terabyte being part of this build, $89 for this uh, NVMe drive, which is fantastic. Again, the MP34 is probably the best deal right now for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So the GPU for this build is the XFX 7800 XT. It's a very good price right now for $500. Um, it was even cheaper on Best Buy, but again, this one's sold out. Um, if you do wanna save an extra $10, you can get it from here if you wanted to. Um, but from Amazon, it is $500 right now, which is a decent deal. Again, for our case, P400A, not gonna repeat all that again. And for the PSU, we're using the same one as the last build, 750 watts should be plenty. Um, and this is $75 for it, very good price again. So with the alternatives, it's gonna be around the same thing with the CPU coolers. You can go with the other thermal right options around the same price, 35 to 38 bucks. For the motherboard, the only Z790 that I've seen around the same price, I think it's, I believe it's actually almost the exact same right now is the Gigabyte Z790 UDAC. So do keep that one in mind. For the GPU, the most comparable GPU for the 7800 XT is gonna be the 4070. And the only reason you would wanna to switch to the 4070 is if you're doing a lot more ray tracing, um, if you prefer gaming with ray tracing on, the 4070 is gonna be the definite better option. But if you prefer just a pure performance and you're not gonna be doing a lot of ray tracing gaming, the 7800 XT is the better option. And with cases, again, you can go ahead and check out that case list. Now, in terms of upgrades with this motherboard, you can go with the 13th gen Intel CPUs as well and get a pretty good upgrade. You can go with the 13700KF, the 13700K, and the 13900K. Now, if you are gonna be upgrading to the 13900K, I would highly suggest upgrading your motherboard as well, like one that I mentioned in this list, the Asus ROG Strix Z790E. You can choose other ones as well. I would just probably try to find one with better VRMs than the ones that I've chosen at this current price point. Um, this is gonna bring you up quite a bit in addition with the increased price from the 13th gen CPUs. Coolers, again, you have quite a few options here. The RAM, you can upgrade to 64 gigs, but that will double the price, so do keep that one in mind. The storage, again, the MP34 is a great option. You can upgrade to the four terabyte if you wanted to for $152. For GPUs, you do get a few options here, but they are gonna significantly increase the price. It's basically gonna be a minimum of $900. For example, the 7900 XTX is 
Currently, the cheapest you can find is 910, and I would probably go for one that was more about 930, 940, if that's what you wanted to do. The RTX 4080 is going to bring you a little bit closer to 13 to $1,500, and then the RTX 4090, if that's what you wanted, is going to bring you well over $2,000. Again, with cases, you got a lot of options in that case list, and the power supply, you can again go up to the 850 watt if you would like. Now, this sub $2,000 build is extremely good right now the prices for it are fantastic and you are getting some pretty good deals here this is a very 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 good build it's not you know full all out but it's very close to it's doing a very good job our cpu here is the 7800 x3d top dog in terms of gaming right now um, currently on sale for 358.99 so i had marked as 358 it's gone up to 358.99 now do keep that one in mind it's an extra dollar Again, with the cooler, the Thermalrite Phantom Spirit will do a pretty good job here. If you want, you can upgrade to an AIO or something a little bit beefier, but the Thermalrite Spirit will do a pretty good job. Now for the motherboard here, we can go with the Gigabyte B650 Gaming X, which is a Wi-Fi 6 capable board, $160. Very, very good here. You really don't need to upgrade this if you decide to upgrade your CPU. This is a pretty good motherboard. Obviously, you can upgrade the motherboard if you wanted to, but this is a great price for this board. We're sticking with the same RAM as the Intel build, this 32 gig 6,000 mega transfers kit is a very good price at $94. Same situation with the NVMe drive, this MP34 2 terabyte for $89 is a very good deal. Now in terms of the GPU, we're going with the 7900 XT. It was $710, but between putting together my table and putting together this video, it has gone out of stock on Newegg. You can set up an auto notify if you do want to know. Uh, when it comes back in stock if you want to see the cheapest price though i believe right now 740 dollars is the cheapest that i've seen it even at 740 dollars it's only a 30 dollar jump it's not great but it's not the worst thing in the world still a very good price for this gpu now with the case here i thought we would upgrade it since we had a lot of budget to play with here and the fractal torrent is my go-to option for someone who wants the best case possible again there are a lot of options here this was just one of my choices it's actually gone down in price, so I had it listed on the list for 190. You can currently get it for 151 right now on Amazon. And for the power supply, we're doing the Corsair RM1000E 850 watt. This is a ATX 3.0 and PCIe 5.0 compliant PSU. Um, currently on Newegg, it is back ordered until December, so that isn't too far away. Um, but do keep that one in mind. It is also available on Amazon, but it is going to be a little bit more expensive. It's going to be almost, you know, 15 to 20 dollars more. Now, in terms of alternatives for this build, if you wanted to decrease the price quite a bit, you can go with the 7600X. Still going to be a very good CPU, but it's not going to outperform the Intel build that we had earlier. So do keep that one in mind. You can also go with the 7700X to reduce the price a little bit, but I would still consider the 7800X 3D to be the best. And this current price is very, very good. CPU coolers, again, same thing. Thermal right options are also very great and they won't really change the budget too much. In terms of the motherboard, you can go with the MSI B650 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi, which is also around $160. In terms of cases, you get a lot of options here as well. And for the power supply, you can go with the Thermaltake 850 watt if you wanted. Um, it is a little bit cheaper, but you are not getting the ATX 3.0 and PCIe 5.0 compliance. Now, in terms of upgrades, you can go with the 7900X, the 7900X 3D, and the 7950X in terms of CPUs. They are going to be quite a bit more expensive right now. They do not have the same kind of deals that the 7800X 3D is having, so keep that in mind. Like the other builds, the CPU coolers, there are quite a few options, whether you want to go with air cooler or an AIO, they'll all do a very good job. For the motherboard, you can upgrade to something that has better VRMs and slightly more features like the Gigabyte B650 AORS Elite AX, the Asus Prime X670E Pro Wi-Fi, or the Asus ROG Strix X670E Gaming Wi-Fi. I would suggest the X670E series over the 670 standard series because their prices are doing basically the same and they are a slight upgrade, so do keep that in mind. In terms of memory, just like before, we can upgrade to the 64 gig kit, but it will double the price up to just over $200. The storage, again, we can upgrade that MP34 to the four terabyte for $152, so keep that one in mind. Now, in terms of GPUs, you are able to upgrade from here but it is going to increase your price by a minimum of $200. You can go with the RX 7900 XTX, which will be about $910 for the cheapest, although 
A model that I would recommend will be around $940. You can go with the RTX 4080, which is gonna bring you to around $1,200 to $1,500. And then the RTX 4090, which is gonna bring you above $2,000 just for the GPU. Again, cases, there are a lot of options, but as I mentioned, the Fractal Torrent is probably gonna be your best performer. There are some other great options here as well like the height Y60 and stuff like that, go ahead and check out the case list. And in terms of the power supply, you can upgrade to the Corsair RM1000E, which is the 1000 watt version of the same power supply. That one's gonna cost you around 60 to $80 more, depending on the sale that's currently on. So that's all the builds. As I mentioned, the guide is gonna be on my website and is gonna live there forever. I'm not gonna take it down after Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So you can use those in the future to kind of figure out some ideas for ranges. And if in the future people would like me to do this one again, I'm more than happy to. It does take me quite a long time to put this together on the website, but it is a lot of fun and I do enjoy it. As I also mentioned, I do have guides for some other things like cooler recommendations, case recommendations, even some headphone and keyboard and mouse recommendations. You're welcome to check out these guides. They're all within the guides section of my website. With all that said, I really do hope this video helped you out. The sales haven't been incredible this year, but we are still able to put it together some pretty good builds. So I really do hope this video helped you. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like subscribed, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can leave those in the comment section below. If you need any help in regards to the builds, the best place to get a hold of me is in my Discord server. Go ahead and join there, make a post, ask some questions, and I'll try to answer you as quickly as I can. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Lost Time and Step Back, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you want to see any of the gift guides, Black Friday, or the upcoming Cyber Monday video that I'm going to be doing, go ahead and check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. See you next time.